the secret to living happily ever after or living happily in this moment the key to having this moment be a happy moment the key to that is knowing how to manage that gap between what you've just launched and what you still believe because your life causes you to desire more than what is it happens all day every day but your now reality which you mostly examine through your physical senses causes you to hold tight to what is while you are reaching for more now that's uncomfortable you call that yearning sometimes you call it desire but a desire that is pure doesn't feel uncomfortable meaning a desire that you're not resisting a desire that is not contradicted by habit of thought which is what a belief is a purely non-resisted non-contradicted desire is bliss and it is powerful oh, the power of a non-resisted desire the power of a pure thought that's what source offers that's why source creates worlds that's why that's why earth spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets those thoughts thought by non-physical beings are non-resisted they are not doubted if it were up to humans to keep your earth spinning in its orbit <laughs> you'd have forums on how it's not likely to last how lucky you've been that it's gone this good this far and who's responsible for the certain doom but the non-physical part of you that non-physical energy that we call non-physical sometimes you call it God we call it source this non-physical energy is not doubtful it's not hateful it's not vulnerable it just knows and in that absoluteness of that knowing which just means in that non-contradictedness of that knowing there is power that you haven't tasted yet to your full capacity it's like the difference between non-resisted thought as compared to resisted thought meaning a pure desire as compared to a desire that you want but you don't believe pure thought is equivalent to an atomic bomb and normal human thought is equivalent to a firecracker you just can't quite feel the power of the non-resisted thought and yet every now and again you find a little piece of it and you feel the energy of it the euphoria of it the bliss of it the power of it but for most humans it doesn't last very long because you've trained yourself and been trained by others to be so very objective so very balanced let's weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses let's think about what we want but let's look at the downside of it too and we say don't do that don't contradict your thought for the sake of pleasing others who don't know better find something that you want and focus on it unequivocally and as you look around at others like you who are creating their own reality and you see someone who is particularly apparently masterful at it in that they've accomplished a lot they are masters in their art or masters in their science or blissful in their world and as you get up close enough that you get to hear them or know them you will notice these things about them they speak of what they want but they don't talk against it they don't talk against their own desires Jerry wrote a paper Esther's Jerry dearly departed dearly not departed but partly departed <laughs> part of him departed most of him still here it's hard to explain he croaked <laughs> he wrote a paper some years ago entitled keep your ideas to yourself until they are fully developed because he watched so many people who he was counseling in financial matters who would have a desire and they would speak it to those around them who didn't believe in them who didn't believe in success at all perhaps but people are so quick to warn each other about pitfalls and that's contradicted thought 
people are so quick to look for the downside of things that's contradicted thought but the difference that we want you to know and feel by the time you walk out of this room today is that the only difference worth really noting between you and your inner being who is non-physically focused is that your inner being never speaks against you or against your ideas of desire and when you do you cause a kind of separation there's no possibility of separation but you pinch yourself off from the fullness of who you are and that pinched off state of being feels to you like negative emotion your emotions are your indicator of how in alignment you are how fully and wholly you you are or how you are contradicting your own desire have you ever had an experience with another human usually they're related to you in some way or married to you <laughs> or working with you or living next door or complete strangers <laughs> and you are having a conversation with them about something that you believe deeply in and they believe deeply in it too they just don't agree with you and so you explain your perspective which just makes them come on stronger with theirs and then they explain their perspective which just makes you come on stronger with yours and so you've got this sort of tug of war going and rarely is there any consensus that is formed under those conditions because you just dig in in a protective state to defend your position have you ever had that experience children <laughs> what we want you to realize is that those two perspectives are present within you singularly individually you every day when you have a desire that you don't believe I want more money but I want more money but I've never had enough money I don't know anybody who really has enough money my parents didn't have enough money and while that is factually accurate it doesn't need to remain that way but the reason it does remain that way is because when you keep that vibration active as a belief then your desire can't get far out ahead of it and this is the thing this is the premise that we want you to begin with today we want you to listen to what we say next and try to get your thoughts around this because as you accept this progression of your evolution as you hear this simple premise that we're going to put forward right here everything else will be easy for you from now on as you are creating your own reality so here's the premise you came from non-physical but not all of you came and in this physical body you have a role to play in the co-creation between you and your non-physical counterpart you said I'll be on the leading not bleeding <laughs> leading leading edge I'll explore contrast and I will come to my own personal conclusions of what I would prefer beyond what is and your inner being said and when you do that we will accept from you the essence of what you are asking for and we will hold it in a non-resistant state while you find a way of bringing your beliefs to match it in other words if you lived in a time in a space where there was not enough food and starvation is what was happening all around you and your desire for abundance of food not just for your belly but for the bellies of those you love for the bellies of those that you don't even know you and however many of you that are having the experience usually millions are launching rockets of desires and all of your inner beings are receiving those requests and holding purely that thought of abundance of food but the reality of your starvation in your human form keeps you from believing that keeps you from accepting that because what is is so powerfully witnessed by you and you would feel like a fool to pretend abundance when it isn't evident around you and so your now reality keeps you in starvation mode starvation of relationships or starvation of clarity starvation of abundance of all manner because what is in terms of what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching feels so real to you and we want you to accept that while that is a reality there is a vibrational reality that is 
the beginning of all things that are coming and so these are the words that we want you to capture here that we want you to focus with us upon get out ahead of it get out ahead of it now what do we mean by that so you know what you don't want you know what you do want your desire got out ahead of your belief it got out ahead of it in fact it got so out ahead of it atomic bomb compared to firecracker kind of ratio it got so far out ahead of it that source and that which you call God and all manner of that which is goodness all non-physical is focused with you on your new out ahead of it desire out ahead of it now you could translate that literally out ahead of it meaning it hasn't manifested yet like the seed in the ground is out ahead of the corn stalk that will grow and the ear of corn that will grow in other words the potential is out ahead of the reality you get what we're talking about but if the farmer didn't believe in the process of the seed becoming the ear of corn then he would never plant the seed and so often humans don't plant the seed because they want the corn to show up right now now we know you get that in terms of corn but we want you to get that in terms of everything we want you to realize that when you launch a rocket of desire that's a seed that is germinating in this vibrational reality and being tended by the gardener of all gardeners that which is source energy in your inner being and it will become that which you want it to be but you will not witness it if you are contrary to your own desire you see what we are getting at you've got to find a way to believe in your own desire you've got to believe in your own desire which means you've got to understand the process you've got to understand that there is a vibration that is becoming a thought and a thought that is becoming an impulse and an impulse that is becoming a manifestation in fact let's call the thought a manifestation too and let's call the impulse a manifestation too in other words let's start watching for the evidence of your desires turning to things that you can witness rather than needing the thing to be there first so that you can then believe in it humans say well I'll believe it when I see it and we say you got to believe it before you see it or you can't see it but what trips you up is that there are other things that you can see that have been created by others or that were here when you got here or that are easier for you to believe so you don't quite make the equation that you as a creator as a master of creation have some mastery to accomplish and you can't be lazy about it you got to pay attention to what you're doing vibrationally you can't just complacently move along through life observing what you want that's a good thing because you create more of that but when you observe what you don't want not so good because you create more of that because this is a universe based upon attraction there's no exclusion in this universe so when you see something that you want and you say yes to it you're saying yes to something that you want and there's a very good chance that you are non-resistant to that and so it will flow easily usually quickly into your experience but when you see what you don't want and you shout no at it you're really saying yes to the thing that you do not want so you're saying yes to not enough money at the same time you're saying I want more money I want more money and yes I want not enough money and you want to say no I'm not I'm saying yes to money and no to not enough and we say no you're not you're saying yes to money and yes to not enough money you've got a tug of war going on inside of you because in this universe that is vibrational it's not verbal strange we verbal so much <laughs> this is not a verbal universe this is a vibrational universe and so you are speaking a vibrational language and in many cases you are misusing it because you don't realize that you're speaking a vibrational language